This is the first time these flags have waved together in Israel. The foreign ministers of Morocco, Egypt, the United Arab Emirates, Bahrain, the U.S. and Israel have come together in the Negev Desert in southern Israel. This is an unusual place for a diplomatic meeting. Israeli officials say they want to create an informal environment for the officials to develop personal relationships. The main topics on the table were the Iran nuclear deal, which Gulf countries and Israel strongly oppose, and the war in Ukraine. What we are doing here is making history, building a new regional architecture based on progress, technology, religious tolerance, security, and intelligence cooperation. This new architecture, the shared capabilities we are building, intimidates and deters our common enemies, first and foremost, Iran and its proxies. Lebed also said the Negev summit is expected to become a regular forum with foreign ministers hoping to meet twice a year. Palestinian Prime Minister Mohammed Shtay condemned the meeting, saying any normalization of relations between Israel and these Arab countries is an illusion, while Tel Aviv continues its occupation of Palestine. But peace between Palestine and Israel was discussed. Uh, we did highlight the importance of the Israeli-Palestinian peace process, the importance of maintaining the credibility and the viability of the two-state solution that uh, for Israel and a Palestinian state to live side by side in peace uh, with the recognized uh, borders for a Palestinian state uh, in accordance with the uh, 67 lines with East Jerusalem as its capital. But those words didn't appease the growing frustration of ordinary Palestinians. I'm extremely astonished seeing these Arab normalization ties with Israel. It grieves me to see these Arab foreign ministers siding with the Israelis instead of supporting their Palestinian fellows. This summit is held against us. The Gulf states are like fruitful trees, but the Palestinians can't yield any of their fruit. God will finally judge them and us. The meeting ended with the establishment of six working groups on a range of issues including defense, energy, education and health. And for Israel, the gathering gave it the sense it was no longer isolated from these four Arab nations, despite no breakthrough in the Palestinian conflict. Mustafa Fatio's Theatre World, Negev, Israel.